It was winter in 2007 when two men wearing hoodies entered J&R's on the 300 block of East King Street. Owner Juan Lopez was helping a customer when police say men armed with handguns and wearing face masks were yelling in Spanish, forcing the customer to the floor. Officers say they robbed the business, getting away with $93,000 before shooting Lopez. The family, the people that know the victim or knew the victim, they all want answers, and the difficulty for us is that we're not able to give those answers to them until we solve this case. And it's been a while. In the last decade and a half, some things haven't changed. This is still a cash checking shop, and family, friends, and investigators are still determined to find Lopez's killers. Family friend Isabel Irizarry says the mission for police is clear. Go back again and try again. I, I certainly understand the frustration. Police hope a guilty conscience may be the key. We hope that over time people's consciences will wear on them, that if they knew information from before or if they learned information in the last 15 years, say, that they would be willing to come forward. Investigators have surveillance video. These are still photos from that video police released at the time. The video technology that we have available today is so different. You can see by these images, 15 years makes a big difference in technology. We can't improve the quality. What we have is what we have. Isabel says the killers probably think they got away with the murder by now. I feel sad because they're killing innocent people. Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? Quisqueyanos. Lopez had volunteered at Spanish radio station WLCH and served as a church leader. I thought you, it was a beautiful person. We don't want them to think that, you know, we've given up. In Lancaster, Meredith Jorgensen, WGAL News 8.